just sticking around with cars. Mads. Mads, hey, I've got two things for you. Yes. Two of your favorite things. Yes. Booze. Yes. And it's daytime. Yes. Fast front wheel drive cars. Not Volkswagens then. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, man. here all I know is there's a ton of intercoolers and a ton of front slicks yes definitely front slicks. all right guys who the hell are all you look at who's here uh, look who's how you doing? <laughs> is this the Honda daddy yeah, yeah this is been, Darden it's been a while it's been a while I'm can we cut seen. to the footage <laughs> So what car? Do you own any of these? No, I just program them, but I mean, these, these guys are the owners. Uh, are you guys a crew or what is this? What's your crew? All right, what's up? There you go, from Rosarito? Did you bring these cars up from Mexico? Yep. I told you, it's like wow. one of those videos where it's like racing actually, in the streets of Mexico. This oh, I thought you were, I thought they were just kidding. Sick. Yo, straight up. First question, don't even care about any of your turbos and stuff. How dark is your windshield? I straight up thought you had ABS plastic over the windshield. Like what? These aren't street cars, right? Okay, cool. Who's the fastest? Shit talk. <laughs> Which car are you? Red one. Red one. That one's the fastest? But the, whose is the Integra? Integra sounds the craziest though. It sounds like a hell you got a helicopter engine or prop on that? What? God damn. Oh my goodness. Woo! All right, so I'm assuming we got some twin scroll action here. That's a full sheepy built turbo kit. God damn. And then it's got a sheepy built, the guy who brought the Lamborghini. Man, you just won the style award. Yeah. Oh, no oh, shit. Yeah, so. so yeah, this one's got a billet case. So it's a very expensive $9,000 transmission on a Honda Civic. Who's uh, who's who's transmission? Quake? No, this is a PPG. Oh, PPG. No, nice. actually, this is a G-Force. Both of those are PPGs. So, we kept having a lot of transmission issues, so we had to go with the full dog box yep. on all three of these applications. So. Wow. Sick. So they're all dog box, but they're not sequential. Still H pattern. No, still H pattern. Sick. So he actually missed a gear. Went back from first to second. You money shifted back that thing. First. Yeah. Sick. Do an endo. Two weeks ago. Did it do an endo? All the valves. Bit. All right, my man. And he did it twice, not once. Oh. Twice. All right, so <laughs> let's start from the basics. B16 base. Uh, no, this is actually. That's an H22. No, that's a B18. LSV tech. Close. Oh, so LS is a 1.8 though, right? Uh, yeah, it's a 1.8. So an LS isn't a B18? It's a B18. Okay. But the has no, some shit. Yeah, it's a 1.8 liter. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah,
and then it's all Brian Crowder. Wait, 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 tons of head work, right? 11 to the one with a turbo. 11 to one with a turbo. This is actually a 62 millimeter car. So wow, that's actually that's class. high compression for a turbo. Yeah, model. yeah, but 62 mil. What type of power is it making? Like it's making about 850. Okay. <laughs> but right. it's not all the way turned up. We've had some issues with the transmission, so now that we got the transmission. What are you on? Twenty? Are these 26s? No, it's 24 and a half. Oh, okay. Sleeve lock, everything, the Sleeve whole deal. Sleeve lock, everything, AM electronics, AM and Fendi ECU with a T1 trigger setup, all coil on plug. And what does this thing weigh? Right? It's about 2,100. 800 horsepower, 2,100 pounds. What what type of trap speeds does this thing put down? This thing has trapped 160 on 32 pounds of boost. God damn. Oh my god. Do we want to, do you guys talk ETs or no? Well, this one ran a 940, but he was having okay. some issues with the transmission. We got to figure it out, so we're hoping. But those trap safe. speeds are serious, so oh, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, 160 is definitely. Shit. Trap speed. Yeah. Can we can we peek inside this thing? Man, there's a whole lot of nothing going on in here. Just uh, a roll cage. Yep, that's a few. One per car. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the AEM CD7 dash. Love that thing. Sweet. Fully gutted Kirkies. All the stuff. Parachute. Nice carbon Slash wing. Slash wheels. So. Hell yeah. Is this sport front wheel drive? Uh, technically started off as a sport front wheel drive, but right now we've been running it in the FIS class, which okay. is a 62 millimeter inducer class. Okay. And that's what we run it in right now. So. Nice. 40 is the best time, but we're looking to go eight seconds with the, just the 62. Then we're gonna go back to the sport front wheel drive with it with the 72 millimeter soon. Hell yeah. Vinny, it's so weird seeing reverse because it's front wheel drive. It's got slicks in the front. The skinny's in the back, yeah, man. Pizza's in the back. That's it. Oh, man. This one's, got, this one's got CCW pizzas in the back? CCW. <laughs> are those CCWs? Those are actually Balak wheels. Oh, all right. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Whatever, they're like classics, my bad. Close, close. That's close. Yeah. Definitely close. Hey. Well, who, whose car is this? this is yeah, I mean, you're already anxious. You took your hood off already. All right, so this one, same thing. AM Infinity, we just switched it to... Wait, wait, wait. Same thing. What engine is it? P20 V10. So it's not the same thing. Well, once you modify the internals, it technically Yeah, yeah, all right. Thing, so. so, B20, is it a 62 mil? No, this is actually a pure turbo 64 millimeter. Uh, so it made 806 on about 26 pounds of boost. Nice. And uh, we're gonna run about 40, 45 pounds once he's used to the power. Okay. What type of what type of fuel are you running on these cars? This has a C16 race gas. That one's on E85 and that one's on E85. What's this car's fastest trap? This one's trapped uh, 126 in the eighth mile. We have not run wow. a quarter mile, but okay. we're looking to go eight seconds in the quarter of this one as well. So. All right, and I'm going to ask this question again. Don't give me some bullshit answer like because it's fast. This thing pulled in. We're gonna, we'll start it in a sec. But why the hell does it sound like it does? Is it just massive cams? Like what is this? Yes, that right there. It's got locked VTEC, so it's always on VTEC. So it's got the huge primaries that are always going on. Can we start this thing real quick so we could show the people what the hell I'm talking about? Fire it up. Because it pulled in and we're all like, uh, okay. Tell us a bit about locked VTEC, like what the benefits are. And there really is no true benefit to having locked VTEC. It just, it's always in primary. So if okay. it's a race car, you can lock it. Sounds cool, makes a little bit more power, but that's about it. It kills your drivability, so if you right. want so it's always on. drivability, it's always on. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Yeah, start this thing up real quick. a lot of air. Oh yeah. Hey, I also wanted to ask, they were talking about the names. Why are the cars named the way they are? You're gonna have to translate that one. What's the, the name? What is it? Why is it called the name? Why? Because I spent a lot of time in the car. She, uh, he went through a lot just to get the car stable. Yeah. If, it was, if it wasn't, if it wasn't one thing, it was another thing, so he went through a hard time. It was fighting him. It was yeah. being rebellious. Yes. It was getting oh, like La Rebella. <laughs> La Rebella. <laughs> what about this car? Weight, chassis, stuff like that. Anything this special with it? This one's about 2,600 pounds. Okay, uh, so this is a little full, heavier. Yeah, it's got a full 10-point uh, cage, so... Uh, so I was a, asking she's you really. a fat girl out of the group. Oh, it's this got carpet. Friendly. This is this street is car's shit. Like it. This thing's got girl. door panels, yeah. carpet. 
a glove box, rear door panels. You can take your girlfriend out on a date in this. Yeah, this is a total. This is a total <laughs> I mean, woman crusher. She will not be able to hear you, so you'll be good. I don't know if this is anything like New York, but you drive this thing to a restaurant anywhere in New York, this thing will be stolen by the time you get out. <laughs> it's only got a two-gallon tank, so you're you'll run out of gas. In it. Sick, yeah. Now this one, something is different because the engine sits way higher. This is so the H series got, now. Yeah, see, he got it right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, correct. That so H is a 2.2 2 liter. 2 liter, that's the yeah. big one. Okay. The big one. But it's H2B. Yeah. What is uh, that? B series transmission. B series, B series head. Oh, okay, no, cool. Transmission. Oh, transmission. Oh, H2B. Oh. Gotcha. Oh. All right, sick. So H22 came from a Prelude, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. This one has an H22 motor. Same thing, lock DTEC, Brian Crower, uh, stage three. But motor. this one doesn't sound like that one. This one sounds pretty chill. Right? It's when it pulled in, it loud. seemed pretty... Oh, well, you probably, it's because that one's very turned on. Oh, it's <laughs> But we'll turn this one on. Oh, because the exhaust be... systems are very, very different yeah. car to car. I could see, <laughs> could see what you mean, the difference. <laughs> AK-47 and uh, you'll find out in a little bit what. Oh, so, what what type of power is it making? This one's making a little bit over 800. Uh, it's very low boost. It's got a Garrett. Uh, low boost? Yeah, low boost. Yeah. What's low boost? Low boost is about 24. Okay, so yeah, pretty so moderate. Low boost. But this turbo is capable of making a thousand, which we are going. What to is it? You said it's a 74. Oh, it's a 67. 67. It's a okay. Turbo by Garrett, 67 millimeter. Nice. On this one, we're gonna turn it up to about thousand once uh, he gets the car figured out. And going straight so so what uh you know a lot of people are used to hearing about drag cars rear wheel drive and all the crap with what you do to set up whether it's like doing ladder bars or four link like what are some of the big hurdles you guys run into with front wheel drive and getting traction oh uh, well yeah definitely the biggest factor is front, uh, front wheel drive with traction so we add a little bit of weight bars in the front and the main thing is that ECU and control and boost so, so you do boost by gear uh, and this one has boost by gear and it also has boost by throttle okay so anytime it, uh, he races in Mexico as well which they don't have the greatest streets over there and it's not really paved like we tracks, do here so tracks 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 tracks, tracks. 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 Right. It's a different country. The, we don't. We're not responsible yeah. for their laws. It's just whatever. Anything south right. of the border. Yeah. South of they the border. Could, they race them on the street the, there. What about the traction bars, the wheelie bars? No one's really. Well, I was actually. I was more interested in like traction bars from. I've seen a lot of front wheel, like sport front wheel drive guys do, like solid mount control arms, so they oh, have yeah, they yeah, like yeah, the yeah. control arm can't shift uh, right, longitudinally. Right, right. Nah, we didn't really get too crazy with this car. It's pretty much stock. It's got a traction bar in it that pulls. A, wheels tighter and um, we're able to align the car better so okay. and not get as much wheel hop with it. Is the best system. thing is the boost by gear is what helps. The main thing honestly gear. the main thing is uh, just boost control and the transmission too because anytime you throw a lot of power at these things and the main thing is you don't want to get a, a wheel hop so anytime you get wheel hop you're really going to break that transmission so. What about for the suspension? Uh, with the suspension? We run pretty stiff suspension in the front and in the rear and the front. Do you guys corner balance these? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are all corner balanced by Lloyd. Man, so he's a man over there. Oh, Harry. Harry. Lloyd. Wave Lloyd, come on. Harry. Well, let's peek on the inside of this thing. All right, all right so this has this a bit has more of an interior. extreme cage. Yep. You said it has full interior? Wait a minute, can we show that to Scotto? That the crookies have the pads? Yeah. They have the crookie with the pad for the shard cart? He can't even afford the padding, right? Because we need that off for every little bit for nice. him to fit. I know. Nice. Drive shaft shop axles, right? Yeah, drive shaft shop axles. They run E85 on this thing as well. That's kind of the gold standard, isn't it? The drive right. shaft shop axles. Yeah, and then we have Turbo Smart. Um, they do all of our boost control components. And see this that license plate right here? Mexico. Nice. So you're good. You can actually race. Legal. Things. We're legal. And what about fuel system? I mean, we hear all these pumps. You guys run like A1000s, there's O44s. Uh, this one has an A1000 actually. Okay. And it's got 2200 cc injectors. So guys, I have a quick question. You know, here, everyone seems to hate our front wheel drive burnouts and front wheel drive cars. Are you guys finally gonna prove that front wheel drive burnouts could be cool? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanna know why they're all lined up like this. Because we're gonna do a three-way burnout. What? 
That calls for another beer. Do <laughs> <laughs> you win the cops coming and us getting a bunch of noise complaints and probably kicked out of Long Beach, so rest in peace. Um, just be aware if you're in headphones. Yeah, headphone users beware. Yeah, rest beware. in peace, our eardrums. Damn. Wow. Eardrums wrecked. Pretty sure that was a pretty chill uh, burnout also. I was ready to go. Oh, where are they? <laughs> Wait, you have a stash? Oh yeah, we are, the cops are 1,000% coming. It's the loudest cars. It's the loudest thing ever. Did you, uh, did you maybe hear something? Is that why you came out? I heard a little, I heard a little something, something. I heard a little <laughs> well, it sounds like from the inside. <laughs> Party though. Oh, thank you guys for having us here. Uh, we're pretty much we're representing Mexico. We're brothers. Thank you for having us here. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming. Yeah. We thank just, you guys. I believe. I think it's time for a shot. That's a wrap. Hey Brandon, why doesn't this thing do that? Yeah, Brandon, your car sucks. This thing sucks. Brandon, pull the blue interior out of your car so it sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs>